Basketball Wives has returned. Now, I don't even know why they call this show Basketball Wives because last I checked, Jackie Christie is the only basketball wife. So, y'all, we need to jump into this situation between Evelyn Lozada, Jackie Christie, and of course, none other than Brooke Bailey. Now, guys, before we get into this video, I do need you guys to make sure you like the video, share the video, and if you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And also, guys, make sure you enable your bell notification so you do not miss out on a video or when I go live. I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Well, guys, Basketball Wives is back with none other than the same foolery from before. So nothing has changed with this show. In fact, what is currently happening is Jackie Christie is the one that everybody has a problem with. Now, I don't like on these reality shows where everybody just gang up on one person because it reminds me of some type of elementary or high school situation where where people just don't know how to act. Now, I understand Jackie can be a little bit much, but for me as an adult of my age, I don't really enjoy the shows when everybody is just coming at one person. I wish and I feel like they should handle their situations individually and not make it be just such a situation where everybody has a problem because it almost makes, you know, the beefs look fake and it almost make it seem like um, the ladies are just going along with one person and just going along just to get along. But let's just get into what they are saying is the problem. Well, Evelyn being at the head and the forefront of all the BS, which is, I feel like it's orchestrated like that. She is angry about something that happened last season. And we're going to jump into that. Um, if you guys recall last season, Evelyn was asked to come back and there was a photo shoot done, but Jackie was not a part of it. And it was stated that Jackie had some words to say about Shawnee and Evelyn. Um, well, here's the deal. Shawnee didn't seem like she had much to say about it. I don't understand why, you know, Evelyn has this, you know, huge problem with it other than it's just for a storyline. But what I want to do, guys, is let's get into the audio because this happened last season, but they didn't really talk about it then. So I'm really not sure why they're talking about it now. Um, so let's just kind of get into that audio. Y'all all shit in Miami, and y'all yeah. shit got canceled because nobody wanted to watch y'all no more. How the fuck did all of y'all end up in L.A.? I don't get it. I don't either. I don't know what's going and then, on. Then y'all went, went and stole our fucking credit. Now basketball, they just come up just basketball wise now on fucking Wikipedia. That basketball wise delay, they've been just basketball wise. No, like, the shit is crazy to me. Not all of a sudden, now Los Angeles is at the end of the name all of a sudden again because we ain't had it for five seasons. I don't get it. Like... But at the end of the day, basketball wise, Los Angeles is Jackie Christie. And it's not me talking shit or me being That's funny right. or me like, because I love you, of course, but this right. is just what it is. You know, I know. Because at the end, at the end of the day, right. when y'all, and it's not, I'm not trying to be funny about this either. Yep. Evelyn, Ashanti, nobody right. wants to watch y'all. Nobody I, cares. Like, uh, <laughs> it's like in your face, Jackie. And I'm like, why? Girl, I, I ain't tripping. tripping. Now, what you guys just listened to was some of the conversation between Jackie Christie and basketball wives, British. Now, if you guys recall, British is actually in prison right now, but this obviously happened before she was, you know, went to prison. And this was a conversation that she had with Jackie. Um, and it was stated that it was British, it was Jackie. And then it also was another lady. I cannot remember her name, but she's actually currently on the show this season. She was the third party on this, um, 
call. Now, also, it was stated that Jackie had made some threats or maybe just idle threats and just threw something, you know, out there that, you know, she was going to do something to Shani and Evelyn. But I don't believe it was something that, you know, she really was going to do. She was just talking trash. Well, ultimately, the issue this season is because Evelyn is bringing that back up. Now, the reason that I have Brooke on the screen is because you guys know, or if you don't know, Brooke's daughter passed away. Rest in peace to her daughter. Um, but anywho, Brooke felt some kind of way because she felt like Jackie didn't console her the way that, you know, she would have wanted to console. Um, but at any rate, Jackie had apologized um, but then, you know, Jackie had did an interview and she pretty much stated that she apologized to Brooke because that's what she was told to do on the show. Um, just so you guys know, even with these reality shows, they are told to do, you know, different things and, you know, everything is not as authentic as you guys would probably like it to be. Um, but moving right along, um, Jackie also made some statements about Brooke. Um which, you know, them statements she made about Brooke. Now, that was a little bit shady, but let's get into what she said about Brooke, y'all. Guys, one opportunity when I had my dinner to come, mm -hmm. I don't want to shoot with her. I'm back on that. I ain't, I ain't filming with her because I already know what she's going to do. And my attorneys and everybody else already recommended I don't. I'm not going 10 steps back for this bride. I don't, I don't like her. I don't care for her. I'm not doing it. She's still on here trying to get paid off of this baby. I'm good. Y'all can have that. Get somebody else to do it. So I'm not doing it. Nothing with her. Me and Brooke will not have a conversation on yeah. national TV no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she done fucked herself with me for good. So she can have it with whoever else she wants, but she won't. And I'm. Y'all, this is so very, very, very messy. And I feel like it's so below the belt. And I feel like the network should have just left this off. Um, you know, Brooke's daughter did pass away, I believe, in a car accident. And I don't think that it is a good idea, you know, for her to even continue with this particular, you know, storyline or I wish they could have like resolved this, you know, a little bit different because I don't know what type of rage I would have for a person that, you know, is saying the, you know, this sort of a thing. And then to have to be at work, it just seems like they're exploiting just a little bit too much. It seemed like, you know, they would have tried to resolve this situation because this seemed like it can go really bad really fast so jackie is actually saying that she does not want to film with brooke because brooke is trying to get money off of you know her daughter passing away which i think is so terrible to even say um but this is what jackie is saying so y'all could just imagine that this is going to be a really crazy season but I really wish they would have left that part off because I feel like, you know, there was always tension between Jackie and Brooke. Although, um, you know, Jackie did apologize. It just seemed like, you know, they just were not in a good place, even at the reunion. Um, but to rehash again and, you know, constantly bringing up her deceased daughter, I just think that's a little bit too much. Um, so I want to know what y'all think. I like Basketball Wives, but I really wish they can concentrate more on you know, women in their mid forties and what else they are doing besides fighting and doing all of this crazy shit. Because me, you know, me and the people that I be with or whoever I choose to hang out with, nobody is on that at, at, at 49 and 50. I get it. You have disagreements, but this is not the real life of somebody that is their age. So that is, you know, for me is what makes this show not very entertaining because the drama that they have is like for somebody in their 20s. Like this is just way too much drama for me. But y'all let me know what y'all think. 
And as always, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And please let me know what you guys think down below.